Last week, I purchased my first focusing mask called a Batnoff mask from Ontario Telescope. So there's a lot of videos online on how to use these and how to make these, and I just wanted to share my experience. So at first I was a bit confused about which one I should buy, but a quick post on an astronomy Facebook page and the CEO of Ontario Telescope replied to me right away and recommended uh, this one, which would cover the dew shield on my refractor telescope. So these cost about 20 bucks in the USA or about $40 in Canada, and the price does depend a little bit on the size of your telescope. So I plan to use this for all types of astrophotography from images of planets in the moon with my cell phone uh, and planetary imaging cameras, as well as my DSLR and a dedicated astronomy camera. Since it helps to zoom in to a live view of the star, it probably works best with tracking telescopes. And so I probably won't get one of these for my Dobsonian. But in summary, it was extremely simple to use. Like here's my son's telescope and you know, basically put it on. Um, and then you do the rest on the computer or the back of your camera or your cell phone screen. But in summary, it was extremely simple to use. And most importantly, it gave me the confidence that I had achieved perfect focus. And for that, it was worth it uh, for me. Hope you enjoyed that short video of the focusing mask in action. Just a quick announcement, 50 things to see with a telescope activity workbook is now available on Amazon. Check it out. And that is a companion workbook to 50 things to see with a telescope and 50 things to see on the moon. Happy stargazing everyone. Take care.